Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Canine Clips, and this is Miso, and she is a long haired chihuahua with this beautiful coloring. And I'm going to be showing you how I give a chihuahua a scissor cut and a good brush out. So she's already been bathed by her owners, and her nails have already been done as well. So I'm going to be doing a good brush out, and for this, I bring out my my metal comb and I got a few metal combs so I bring I start with this one which has the wider comb then I go to a more thinner one and then I try to use the de shedder at the end which takes out the most hair so we'll just see if this one brings out any hair And then at the end, I'm also going to give her a trim to just kind of clean her up, but really not take off too much hair, but uh, kind of even it all out at the end. Okay. Well, right now you can see it's catching, so that's why I want to start with the widest comb. And I'm very happy I'm wearing my mask because hair is sticking to it and flying all over. And there's a big clump here. I'm going to get my mat to put her on, just to give her a little more grip as I'm pulling. So it's kind of good to hold that with your fingers. So you're not pulling as much while you're getting that out. It is springtime here. So the weather is warming up and so a lot of these dogs are shedding their coats, undercoats are out. So it makes it a little thicker and clumpier. They're trying to cool down a little bit here. There. Good girl. And when you feel a resistance, you kind of find out where it is and kind of work that out. Thank you. 
right when you think this is harder than using the clippers <laughs> a lot more work involved in this I'm going to be trimming this off, so I'm just going to kind of comb it kind of out. You can see kind of where I have a line there where all the, it's resisting a bit, and I'm going to be trimming that off anyway, so I might as well just do that now. There's no point in continuing to pull that out. And I'll go back and finish that up <laughs> a little better after, but just for now that I have those out, combed out. Let's go back here. Right on behind this one. just lost the tooth. Well, actually just the plaque of the tooth. Yeah, that's good, eh? That's good, is it? I bet it does. Yes, there could have been a tooth in there, but I think it's basically just a big chunk of plaque. This first process is just getting the mats out. Once I do that, then I can use the next, next comb and the next one, but the next one won't have very much to get out. And the last one may or may not work. It all depends because it's a little bit longer fur, so. Here's the same spot on the other side.
Okay, time to roll those in. Good girl. Like these combs because you can get right down to the skin so then you know that you're getting there's a lot of combs that are shorter and they just kind of get this but they don't get deep down to where the undercoat is so people will come in and say yeah i just brushed him and of course they'll be all fluffy but underneath all that fluff they're still matted unfortunately Okay, I think we got through everything with this one. I'll just go once over real quick. See if it catches anything. I'm making sure it goes right down to the skin. Good girl. All right. Nice. Well, that's that one. Let's see if this, this one gets anything. Usually, there's not too much. This is just kind of catching any loose hair that may be left behind. A little bit, but not much. There. Yeah, there we go from that one. Right 
Okay. Well, basically, it's not really taken out. You can brush all day, and uh, on a shedding dog, they'll still always shed a little bit for you. Now I'm going to use the scissors and clean her up. And I do a trim with these guys. So you don't go this way. You always go up and down kind of thing. Because then that will layer it better. If you go this way, it will make lines. I'm not going to take lots off. Just basically all those wispies. You just want to take a little bit off at a time. You just kind of follow that same line down. Just where the bum kind of comes in, I'm just going to take a little bit more so it kind of layers down instead of just really long and then short, right? I'll do the same on this side. It kind of blends together there. A good scissor cut is one that you can't tell that they've been cut. So it looks really natural, obviously. You just gotta follow the hair, so depending on how it lays, and unfortunately, it's sometimes it's just a trial and error. So that's why you start a little higher, because if it makes a line, you can just correct it by going the opposite way.
I'm not trimming the nails because the owner's already have done that, so I'm just trying to clean up the feet. I'm just going to trim that little fluff under those eyes there. Just making that all pretty. other feet now. Let's see the difference in them. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, good. Okay, just that back foot. Okay. 
Well, hang on to those feet. Okay. Always a challenge when you need to sit, but she's actually fairly good. She's not moving around too much. Okay, let's see how you did. I'll try with this one, but I'm not sure if it's gonna. No, the hair's a little too long, so it kind of grabs too much. I'm just going to go back to the thinner one and go through again. I got my own time. Sometimes they like to hide on us. Mm -hmm. All right, so there is our girl. <laughs> Inside the wig. So it's not a big dramatic change, like I said, just a little bit. All right, so there is our girl. She's got quite the color changing going on there. 
So hopefully you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Want this? Yeah, you know what this means. All done. All done. Good girl. <laughs> yeah, that girl is so sweet. You good girl. Hmm? There she is. All done. See you again soon.